All right, guys, it's rebuild day. I'm not gonna let it sit. So, yep, the very next video, we're rebuilding that stove, we're getting it working. Let's get into it. All right, so Mr. Jungle Man came, got the new pump. Now we may have to do some alterations on it to make it work in my stove, but trust me, I'm an expert. I watched a video on it. And then I got me a, a true, um, okay, a true Coleman fuel funnel, new one. Well, packaging right there. There's the funnel. Pretty, pretty snazzy if you ask me you don't get the grass down in the fuel tank like you used to and it actually burps it out and all that good stuff but yeah remember when we used to get the fuel down in the i mean the grass down in the fuel tank adding fuel so what i have taken precautions is we're going to kind of light this no we're going to um do all the work on the workbench here i've moved anything that could explode think but i gotta get the gotta get it i gotta empty the fuel that's in it out i got some grass that's coming up in the driveway i may dump it on it now i'm gonna put it back in the can that it came out of and then we'll go from there i'll be back so since i don't need this big stove in the way i'm gonna take it off the workbench for now sit it right there we've got to get the old fuel out of the or it's not really old fuel yet. Ain't been lit once. Let's see how well this goes. Ah, yeah. Caps suck. Anyway, let's see how this, see how well this goes. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this thing. Talking about the rebuild kit and the funnel. I'll put it down below. Oh, it's working pretty good. Look at it run right out of there. Can's probably confused. It's never had fuel go back in it. All right. Well, that was that. Nothing happened there. We'll let that. No, I'm not going to let it drip. I'll just sit over here inside the trash can. Wait if there's any residuals that wants to drip out of it. It'll drip out over there. And I'm going to carefully place this right there. I'll leave the top off. They didn't send me a new seal for this. They just sent me, um, well, the main components. Um, we got to get this one out, so I'm going to turn it off for a second. We'll turn the camera down where you can see what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm Coleman certified, thanks to YouTube. Okay, according to the Coleman Training Center, you need two tools for this job. You need a screwdriver, flathead. We have one of those. And then you need a pair of pliers. Need one of those. Like so. We got them. So they say to do this. This in here and twist. Pop right out. So we got that out. And you should. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So if you look and see how. Whoop. If you look and see how funky that is, let me widen you out. It's actually got stuff growing in it. So, let me open the package. You want to see something? I doubt you can see down in the chamber, but there's what the chamber looks like. Now, another thing you got to have, let me get some. Let's see. Where does Chase keep his motor oil so I can steal some? There's Lucas. Ooh, Lucas. That's expensive. Oh, never mind. 7-Eleven. 
Um, we used to have some, yeah, here we go. This will be really good for it. This will make it run for years to come. Um, yeah, we'll use that right there. I think that, that'll, that'll work. Although it didn't, didn't keep that Volvo running very long. Anyway, let's crack this open real quick. Uh, oh, you do need a knife. I didn't say that. You do need a blade of some sorts. This thing's pretty well destroyed anyway, so no, I don't care if I cut it more. You're going to have to have one of these again. Um, huh. Huh. Oh! I see. Got Mr. Spring, and I guess it's good to put the new little ring back in it. All right, so what you have to do, let me get you down in here a little better, is you have to make this match this. Right now it's set up for one of the newer ones. So what we're going to do is, is we got to take this thing apart, put this and this on it, and put this back on but what happens is is when you do this you just i get they say you can destroy which kind of sucks you destroy this try and take it off or you don't get it off or that didn't work <laughs> They are, okay, you're back. They are not kidding when they say you will destroy it, taking it off, taking that ring off. So we have to put this on, spring on. And I got my old, old one sitting here looking at it. And that's what they say to do. Oh, well, them cheap, sorry, mother truckers. See, that has to go back on that, like so. Make sure your, there was the other thing, he said make sure your cap, your cup goes on this, like so, which goes back on here, like so. Take your new ring, I don't know where the old ring went, and you put it on upside down, kind of, you think you are. Okay, this is where the crucial part comes. You get your, in my case, the high dollar motor oil. I was just looking at the differences. They, both, they, they say everything like the other one does. It's, it's sad though, the, this part here that rests on the cup, the cup rests on is plastic on that one. On mine, it was metal. Oh well, I'm gonna throw all that right over there. Can I get some motor oil out of this? Oh, oh there we go. There's a, there's a splash. Oh, I forgot it had that kind of cap. Okay, we got plenty. We're just gonna dab our finger in that stuff. That's supposed to be some high dollar motor oil. I don't run it in my stuff. My son run it in his, all of his European cars. They're all dead now. And we're going to lube it up a little bit. I know how seals can be, so we'll put some over here. And we'll put the top back on it. I will give the Europeans one thing. That is a really neat way that works. It's got a built-in funnel. But us Americans, we don't need funnels. We just hover above it. All right, so the, the other main thing is when you're putting this back in, is make sure you get this cup in and you don't tear it in the process. Let 
Make sure I'm not trying to shove the old one back in. That would suck. Man, I hope there's no little kids out when I go to light this thing and we send flames across the house or anything. All right, I think I got it in. Oh, wow. Dude, I can tell the difference already. Just putting it in, I can tell the difference. So, let's get this ring back on it. I guess it doesn't matter how the ring goes back in. Let's see how we do here. See that? Okay, so that is to build pressure. Wow. It's building pressure with just my thumb over this hole. Did you hear that? All right, I think she's gonna light this time, boys. Girls, ladies, gentlemen. Give me a minute. I wanted to show you. It is the proper funnel, because look, it matches the tank, except for it's not dirty yet. It will be soon. But let's see if we can, look at there. I don't care to fill this thing up. Voila. I just want to light the stove, make sure the stove works. That's all we're going to do. I'm going to let the cup sit there a minute, drip a little bit off. Oh, it cleans that really well. So now that this white gas make good uh, uh, fuel, it uh, cleans your... Yeah, I think that would be enough to light her off. So, we got that done. Where's the... This back on here. Alright, when I come back, we're going to have a little table set up. And we're going to light this puppy up. I want to see if it... See if we... Uh, Oh, yeah. That's ready to cook a four-course meal. Hang on. All right, I've already pumped it a couple of times. I mean, God, you can feel the difference in this thing already. Remember, turn your lever up. Turn this on. Oh, I hear it. It's wide open. I got the super wide angle, so you're not going to be able to see it too good. But she's flaming. Now I see. Gotta piss it off. There's something you guys have to remember. When you start burning the second burner, it's gonna knock this one down, way down. But, yeah, you know, I can feel the heat just rolling off that thing. Worked. It worked. It worked. Now, you saw how it started getting a yellow flame? Because I turned that lever down too soon. That's part of it. Once it gets good and hot and that fuel gets just right, of course, it, I didn't put a lot in it. I'm so happy. Doesn't take much. Just burning. That's all it took. Was that right there? Like I said, I'll put the price, the link, and everything down below. Even to the funnel, you don't have to get the funnel. But if you want a funnel, get a funnel. I kind of like the way that funnel does. Voila. That's it. And it takes a couple minutes to burn all that off. 
But that's no big deal. I still don't worry. All about. right, guys. She's sitting out in the driveway, cooling down. That's where it'll be for a little while. I'm gonna put my tools up. That was a success, major success. Um, was anything difficult to do? No. Anybody could do this. So if you buy one of these and it doesn't light off right off the bat, it feels really loose when you're pumping it. That's probably the problem is the plunger itself. The rubber around it is so gone, it's not building pressure. Go buy a new pump kit. Um, here's, I'll put this on the screen so you can see it. Go get you a new pump kit, replace the pump kit, the pump. Pay attention to how yours comes out. That's how mine was, so we had to make that modification. Um, I'm gonna hold on to it for parts. May do a little digging and see if you can buy more just of the rubber things and those caps, that would be great. But uh, the Coleman stove lives on. So I will be taking it with me camping in March, May. Just realized we're in April. March has already happened. So anyway. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We got the stove working. That's the whole point is um, maybe, maybe it's something simple um, that has to be done. It's not anything difficult. Um, I really like that funnel. Oh, that'll, that'll go in the stove when it cools down, but I really like that. That's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got a little something out of this, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Come back and see us. Lord knows what we'll be doing next. Later.